Hey everyone, I'm just going to record this little video to show you the beauty of all my Zish themes and the power of Zish. So as you can see here, this is just my prompt, simple current working directory, as you can see there, very simple, and if you were to go into GitHub, then GitHub would be the prompt from then on. I'm just going to go into my .file repository. If you're ever in a Git repository, it'll you can customize this to show what branch you're on. So as you can see here, we're on master, very simple. Another cool thing you can do is show whether or not your repository is in a dirty condition or not. So for example, if I were to touch do.txt, you would see that it was dirty. And if I were to commit it or remove the file, it would then show that the file is gone and the dirty marker is gone. So this theme is very simple to set up, less than 10 lines. Take a look at it real quick here. And as you can see, this is the prompt, and these are the git prompt prefix and suffix. What happens when it's clean, what happens when it's dirty. And that's pretty much it. Now, just for those of you who are going, oh, this is not that great, why is it any better than bash? This is Bash. I clean Bash. I know a lot of you are going to go, you can add themes and colors and whatnot to Bash, but I find that Oh My Zish has a lot of um, a lot of conveniences for creating themes, and it's a framework that's already set up with all these other cool themes and whatnot, so I highly recommend it. And there are a lot of stuff that Zish can do, which is pretty cool, like, for example, program completion and tab completion like that where you can use the arrows to move around which I find pretty awesome there are a bunch of other things too with a bunch of little plugins that Omizish provides as well for tab completing all kinds of things like pip, git, python and whatnot. Um, yeah so it, this can be as complex or as simple as you'd like and I prefer to go simple